everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a lenovo ideapad 3 the exact model is an ideapad 315 inl05 the model name is an 81wp that information can be found on the bottom stick of the laptop in the box or inside the bios all right in this video i'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery internal battery for your laptop if yours is not holding up any more charge or just discharging really quickly, then you might want to replace it. At the end of the video, I'll give you a tip on how to keep your battery state on the best performance uh, way possible. And you should be doing that every couple of months, so the battery health will be optimized. First thing first, power off the laptop. I'll go over the tool I use. It's an iFixit screwdriver set. I'll leave the link in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. We are going to be using a Philips number one. And if you get the Pro set, they give you a putting tools and some tweezers, stuff like that. If not, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A guitar pick is very suitable to opening cases and covers, and it would not scratch the cover. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There's are two types of screws, the long one and the short one. The long screws are the one from the back towards the mid row, and the short ones are the front row of the laptop. Go ahead and remove the front row screws, the short ones, and keep them in a separate pile, and then re remove the rest and keep them on a, another pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentaries. Appreciate it. All right, now that we removed all the screws, we're gonna put them in a different pile. We're gonna grab ourselves the opening tool. We are gonna put stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, and we're just gonna squeeze it in there, just gonna twist it. You want to hear those big click sounds, that's what you want to hear. Just twist it around on the side. I'm not taking more than a two or three millimeters. You want to fit the whole thing inside. So it's take about two or three millimeters as long as you see it just jams in there and that's it. To the back corners, left and right side. I'm going to exactly about two or three millimeters of the guitar pick. There we go. Now on the back side, you want to do the same thing, stick it right in there and just twist it like that and it should release itself. A little bit of wiggling around and it will come out. All right, and down here we can see the simple battery right in here. They could make it a little bit longer to for a higher capacity, but I guess they don't. The model name for this one is an L16. M2 PV2. Right, to remove this one, we need to remove three screws. One screw right here on this side, and second and third one. So remove these screws first before just connecting it. All the screws are the same size and shape, so don't worry about mismatching them. Once you remove them, lift up the battery a little bit, hover over, and then you want to pull it towards the front, and it will release this. Connected. These cables are really tough, so don't worry about damaging the cables. They're really, really tough. Let's say you got the new battery in, it comes with a connector and the cable. You want to make sure that the red cable is the positive, it's facing on the right side, and you want to bring it down. You don't want to put the battery right on the, the screw hole first and then try to push this one in. It's going to be a hassle. So, what you want to do is straighten up the cables like this, align the connector in front of, in front of the jack. And then push it and then pinch them together make sure it goes all the way in there then what you want to do you want to align the screw holes lift it up the tiny hooks in this side too move it with the force it's going to bend the cable that's what you want and then you want to screw down the screws for the battery one on the right side and two on the left and now that you got that what you want to do you want to grab the bottom cover put it on top and put, push down the corners. You want to hear those big click sounds. That's what you want to hear on the back side, on the corner. If you see any gaps opening, just pinch them together and it will snap into its place. Put the short screws on the front and the long screws all the way there 
place, whatever you can, there's no order that you have to follow. All right, regarding the new batteries in there, once you put a new battery, you don't want to power on the laptop at all. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger and let it drain the battery down to 30 or 20%, the lowest that it can go. And once it's down to the lowest, you want to power off the laptop. And while it's off, you want to put, plug in the charger again and leave it again for four to five hours. After four to five hours of fully charged, then you can power it on as you wish with a charger connector without it and use your daily programs. That initial charge and discharge is very crucial for the new batteries. And you should be doing that even for the old batteries once every three to four months to give them the health of the battery on a best state. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.